Okay, so welcome back to day eight. This is the review that we've been doing one question at a time for the AccuPlacer Advanced Algebra and Functions Test. So we are gonna do question number eight, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna break it down fully so that you guys can know how to solve this question. And then I'm gonna give you a few other examples of how you would solve something similar. That way, when you guys get in and you have your AccuPlacer exam, you feel like you're not only able to do an original problem, but you're able to do whatever problem they throw your way. So let's go ahead and get started. Question number eight says, a biologist puts an initial population of 500 bacteria into a growth plate. The population is expected to double every four hours. Which of the following equations give the, gives the expected number of bacteria n after x days? Okay, so when I'm reading this, I know that I'm dealing with an exponential function. So an exponential function is usually multiplied by a rate. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what an exponential function looks like. So n is the number. You have the initial value times the rate, and the exponent is going to be the amount of time that passes. So the initial value is whatever it starts as. So in this case, we're talking about the initial population, and it starts off at 500 bacteria. So we're going to go ahead and put 500 as the initial value. Then we're going to multiply it by the rate. Now, what is the word in this problem that shows us what the rate is? Well, you will sometimes see the word double or the word triple or the word, um, I don't know if they'd use the word quadruple, but you get the point. That is what the rate is. So here we have the word double. So double stands for two. So the rate is two. So on the side of your piece of paper, you can even write this down. Double is two, triple would be three. Um, sometimes it would say it, it goes in half. That would be just one half. You guys get the point. So here, half. So you'll just be able to see those words and be able to identify what number is associated with those words in order to solve this problem. So, so far we have N, which is gonna be our final answer if we are able to get one. If not, we're just gonna leave it as an equation. N is equal to the initial value 500 bacteria times the rate two. And then up here is where you're gonna put the time. <clears throat> So every question is going to be different. Sometimes the time is going to be in years. So if they were to say two years, you'd put the number two there. Sometimes they'll say um, in days, and then you'll know that you're going to put however many days there are. So I'm going to show you guys what you may think you're supposed to do, and then I'm going to show you what you actually should do. So people are going to see this and say, hmm, after X days. So maybe I should put X here. You are kind of right. You're close to being right, but you don't have it fully. So the reason why you wouldn't just put the X there for X amount of days, because they don't tell you the amount of days. If they said four, you could put four. But in this case, they don't tell you how many days. They just say X days. So you would say, oh, I'm going to put X there. But if we were to just put X there, let's so show you what happens. So say four days go by and I put the number four there instead of X. X represents the number of days, and I put the number four there. The reason why this wouldn't be accurate, because it's saying as if four days have passed, meaning this has happened four different times. Four days, this has happened four different times. They're assuming that you've done it one time a day when you just put the number four there. But it actually says every four hours. So in a day, there are every four hours, how many different times? So if you were to take the number of hours in a day, 24, and divide it by four, meaning every four hours, you would get six different times that this equation happens. So instead of just putting, <clears throat> so instead of just putting the number of days, you would have to put how many times it happens per day. So if something happens every four hours, it actually happens six times a day. So we would have to represent six times a day. And you remember the X is what represents a day. So we would have to do six times X, which is equal to six X. So instead of writing X in the corner, 
we're going to write n is equal to 500 times 2, and then 6x is going to be the exponent. Okay, so you may feel like xing out of this um, problem because you're like, I'm never going to learn this. This was too confusing. What did you just do, Miss Amber? I completely understand how you feel. So stick with me so that when you take this test and you have this kind of problem, you know what to do. So the first time is always the hardest. I'm just going to admit that and understand that you're okay if you feel like this is too difficult. But if you stick around, then let's go ahead and see how we can make this easier for you. So just as a reminder, you take the, I'm going to erase some of this. So you take n equals the initial value times the rate, and you put the time in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this. And let's give some new information to see how we would do it again. So I'm going to say the initial rate is 600 bacteria. And then I'm going to say it triples every three hours. And I want you to go ahead and formulate uh, an, um, an equation by doing this. So it's super simple. N is equal to the initial amount. The initial amount is 600 times the rate. The rate is whatever word it indicates. If it says it triples, if it says it doubles, if it says it halves, because it said the word triple, triple is represented by the number three. And then we're going to go ahead and try to represent the time. Now, again, it's after X amount of days. So X is going to be in the answer, but you can't just assume that every day it only happens one time. Why can't you, can't you um, infer that? Well, it's because it tells you every three hours this changes. So because this changes every three hours, we have to represent that in this time exponent. So we go ahead and take the number of hours in a day, 24 hours. We divide it by every three hours, and you see that this happens eight different times in one day. Eight times one day. Okay? So remember, eight times a day. A day is represented by the x. So 8x is what we'd put as our exponent. So our final equation would be n is equal to 600 times 3 to the 8x power. So how would we use this equation? And then I'm going to give you another example very similar to this. So how would we use this equation? So if someone now says, now that you have this equation written, I want you to go ahead and tell me after one day, after one day, how much bacteria would there be? So solve for N. Well, you would just put in 600 times three and eight times per day. So since they told us it's only one day, we're gonna do eight times one. So it would be N is equal to 600 times three to the eighth power. And then you do three to the eighth power, whatever that is equal to, and you times it by 600 and you'd finally get a number of bacteria. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this problem one more time. I'm going to give you similar information and we're going to go ahead and we're going to make another equation. So I'm going to say that there's an initial population of 1000 people. And I'm going to tell you that the it hmm, 1000 people and I'm going to say the rate doubles every two hours. And I want you to give me this information in terms of days. Okay, so again, I'm going to write N is equal to the initial population times the rate to the exponent of, again, it was in time. And the time is in days. Okay, so now N is going to say the same. The initial is 1,000 people times it by a rate of doubling, so times it by 2. And then we have to figure out what we're going to represent by time and days. So if it's doubling every two hours, we have to figure out how many times in one day would it double. So you take 24 and you divide it by two every two hours. So this rate would change 12 times in a day, 12 times a day. So we remember that day is represented by X. So it'd be 12 times X which is equal to 12x, so we would put 12x as the exponent.
Okay, guys, I hope this has broken it down um, enough for you. I didn't want to go too deep into exponential functions because it takes most students weeks in order to learn exponential functions. So I'm assuming if you're taking your Accuplacer exam, it's because you're about to go into school or you may haven't been in school in a long time. And I'm not trying to give you every single detail so that you know every single thing about exponential functions. I'm just trying to give you enough information so that if you have a similar problem to this one, you'd be able to solve it yourself. Now, if they never said, if they never said every four hours and it just says it doubles every day, then and they tell you how many days, you can go ahead and write n is equal to 600 times, sorry, the original was 500. You could do n is equal to 500 times it was doubling times two. And if it said X days, fine. Or if it told you the number of days, you could just put the number of days. But in this case, it didn't tell you the number of days. It told you how many hours in relation to X days. And that's why we went and put it in 6X. Because every four hours, that would be six times in one day. N is equal to 500 times 2 to the 6X power. I know it sounds complicated, but I hope this video has helped you guys. Please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.